yeah, sure, speak for yourself. <laughs> Comedia! How's it going? Oh man, I love the name of this place, Comedia, because when you, my, because uh, my mom is from Yorkshire, and if you say Comedia with a forced northern accent, it sounds like one of her friends trying to wrangle an unruly child. Because <laughs> like, co Comedia. Come here, dear. Come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. Is he being a nuisance? Come here. Don't you look at me like that. I will tie you up in a field and leave you there overnight. Alright? Christ. Oh man, there we go. How are you? Give me a whoop if you're having a good evening. Give me a whoop if you've got a drink. Give me a whoop if your friends mistake you for the Dark Lord Satan. Yeah! My homie in the back! So, just a couple of us then. Oh man, 20 Christians in the room. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Um, I have friends who do in fact mistake me for the Dark Lord Satan. I can't speak for how much your friends mistake you for the Dark Lord Satan. It might be they mistake you from a distance. So they sort of double take upon seeing you and they're like, Shit, is that Satan? <laughs> Oh no, it's just John. It's alright. Or for, other, for others, it might be uh, you're sitting in your living room, minding your own business, and your housemate walks in like, Oh, shit, Satan! For fuck's sake, John. Again? Oh, I'm sorry, trick of the light. <laughs> the first time I was mistaken for Satan, which is now the name of my autobiography, <laughs> available at the back, <laughs> was at a Christmas party a few years ago. Um, a friend of mine passed out having taken some illicit substances, skunk, if you will. And I basically had a dream that I was in fact the devil and was running around being evil and rearranging her cutlery and stuff and all that. The greatest sin of all. Um, she then wake up, woke, wake up? She then woke up and saw me and ran away and hid from me because she was terrified. Now my initial thought was of course, oh is my friend terrified? That's terrible, I've got to go make, make sure she's okay. My second thought was, why did she smoke a skunk? <laughs> she got in the woods? Is that the kids doing nowadays? Go out in the woods? Smoke some woodland creatures? Hey guys! I smoked a squirrel! It was nuts! <laughs> you have to be high to make a pun like that. <laughs> you know, you go downstairs, rest of the party, there's a, there's a guy over there, he's talking to his hand, he's got a field mouse jammed into a crack pipe. There's a girl over there, she's smoking a pigeon. She's on the hard shit. She's on birds. She likes croquet. <laughs> See, I'm on it now. I'm freaking out! The dream is collapsing. Um, but of course, I eventually went and I found my friend, and she was okay, but that was great. It was really kind of an inconvenience being mistaken for Satan, but you know, when, you, when you're a student, you kind of learn to... I'm not going to ask you who is a student, because fucking look at you. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, you, you kind of, when you're a student, you kind of have to learn to take life's little inconveniences in stride, and then you just sort of have to let them come and deal with them. For instance, Man, there's definitely more mice in the kitchen today, but that's all right. Man, this bus is definitely five hours late. I'm not going to be that late to the cinema seminar. There are mice everywhere! Yay! But, um, you know, it makes me think I really do miss childhood. Who, am I, who else here misses being a child? Exactly, I know what you mean, I do miss being a child. Not that much though. Um, I sort of stopped believing in the sanctity of childhood when I saw Big Bird from Sesame Street at a festival last year. Just sort of stumble across a field, vomit. <laughs> and then keep stumbling on. <laughs> it's probably dead now. <laughs> Big Bird, <laughs> man. Another thing from when I was a child is I used to be like completely enraptured by animals. Um, when I was five, I used to walk into assembly pretending to be a raptor because my childhood was cooler than yours. Um, and whenever I go around, whenever I, I used to be completely fascinated by all the pets that my friends would have when they take me, no, when they, they didn't take me home. <laughs> I wasn't one of their pets. <laughs> Mom, there's a, there's a dinosaur in school, can I keep it? <sighs> <laughs> but um, no, I, didn't, I never had a cool pet when I was a child. Um, I didn't have a dog, or a budgie, or a homeless person. <laughs> no, I had a goldfish. <laughs> Why? What's the point in having a goldfish as a pet? Seriously, right? What, what do you, does anyone here have a pet goldfish? Exactly! <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the point? You can't do anything with a goldfish. You can't, you can't walk a goldfish. You can feed it. You can look at it. You can throw it at people. But you can't walk it. You can't teach it to do tricks. Come on, Bubbles. Let's go for a walk. Do a trick, Bubbles. 
You know, you can't you can't have a relationship with a, like a fish. You, <laughs> you can't have companionship with a fish. Like you can with a dog. You play with a dog. You walk a dog. You be friends with a dog. You get sad when it has to go and live on a farm. <laughs> See, parents don't even lie to their children when goldfish die. <laughs> Where would bubbles go? He's dead. I flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can we have chips for tea? <laughs> um, but some people argue that you can have fish as a pet because they provide an ambience and an atmosphere to a room. Um, which makes sense, you know, if I keep a shark in my kitchen, it definitely provides an atmosphere. Like I'm a Bond villain. Or Satan. It's that, isn't it? It's the shark in the kitchen. For fuck's sake. <laughs> knew or something. But the, um, the, the thing is, is that theory doesn't really work all the time. For instance, if you're deep sea diving and a shark swims by, your first reaction should not be, oh man, I love the atmosphere down here. It's, it's great. Hey, where'd my leg go? <laughs> See, doesn't work, doesn't work. I, it, I don't think you can have fish as pets. Practically, a pet has to be an animal that you, that you care, that lives with you, and you care for, and you genuinely have some kind of companionship or relationship with, like, a dog, or a cat, or me. <laughs> you know? That, that, just, that really just conjures up images of my ex-girlfriend eating dinner with her parents. And they ask her, uh, Dar Darling, what, what happened to that, uh, that, that young man you were seeing? You know, the, the, the Satan one. The, rap the raptor guy, the one, with, the one with the shark in his kitchen. Oh, um, yeah, you can't see him anymore. He went to live on a farm. <laughs> he went to live on a farm with Big Bird. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh man. <laughs> That's the end of me. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamina, you have been wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed the night, and I hope you continue to enjoy the, the rest of the evening's frivolities. See you around!